Hello, my name's Peter Dews. I'm a, an agronomist with AgriVista. And, and I'm Ken Grimsdale. Uh, I'm a farms manager and we're standing in a farm in rural Leicestershire in a field of oilseed rape. This rape was established early August, around the 18th of August. It was put into a stubble field of spring barley, which had the straw baled and removed. And uh, we came in with a large 600 horsepower tractor articulated towing a five meter CTS Cavernland stubble finisher, which had an integral mounted oilseed rape seeder made by Stocks broadcasting rapeseed, the variety DK cabinet, uh, behind the subsoiling legs. And we've been looking after it since then, and the management we're putting into it now is to be discussed. Peter, what do you think we should be doing to this oilseed rape from now on to get a yield of five tonnes a hectare? Well, Ken, we're looking at a growth area index here of about one and a half to two. Uh, we're standing in the field now the end of January, beginning of February. Take that into March time when we'll be looking at this. Uh, it's clear that there's plenty of residual nitrogen, so nitrogen will be delayed on this crop uh, to, to, get it to, uh, to get it to canopy management. We'll be looking to do a growth regulatory fungicide that will manipulate our canopy. Uh, in this case, we'll probably be looking at metconazole uh, yep. as it will give more um, manipulation, better rooting, uh, and it's a big growth area. So that, that's our first stage. Peter, we're trying to establish 40 plants per square metre, taking the crop through to canopy. Do you think we've got enough here um, to take it through to where we want it to be? Yeah, there's certainly enough plants. Uh, we look and you look, you look at the spacing, as, as I said here, with the growth area index, we, we've, got, we've got plenty. And the nitrogen that we put on in the autumn, do you think that has had a beneficial effect? Or do you think that with the dry, mild autumn we had that the mineralised nitrogen was sufficient to take the crop to this size or perhaps, you know, have we wasted our applied nitrogen? I don't, I don't think it's wasted, I think it's got the plant up and going, it, it was dry, it's got up well. Uh, the important bit now is how we manage it for the future. So we've got potentially a large crop here, yeah. what we don't want is that large crop to lodge uh, whereby we're going to lose our yield. We've just got to, as, a, as opposed to last year, where crops were small, they were thinner, uh, we've got completely the converse now. We've got to try and delay nitrogen, we've got to manipulate the canopy, uh, and then we've got to take care of our sclerotinia, our Alton areas, and build our nitrogen usage in later this year, as it stands at the minute. Well, Peter, I was thinking um, only the day before yesterday that we ought to perhaps be thinking about getting our nitrogen on within the next fortnight with the first 40 kilos. In your view then, you think we might be wasting our time and perhaps hold back on this crop? The crop doesn't need it, it's not growing away yet. Uh, it, 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 it's, there's, there's plenty of leaf area here, we can delay that. So better find something else for the top it dresser is. to do then? Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. right.